What's going on guys? Welcome to today. I want to teach you about habits and how they've transformed my training and my entire life and I'm going to give you a few that you can add to your jump days and dunk days so you can get started today. What is good guys? Welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk to you about habits. Some of the smallest actions you can take that have the biggest transformation on your entire life. So today I want to go through some life habits, but also some habits that are really important in your dunk training. But if you're new here, I've been a dunker for about eight years now. This channel is all about my journey and a lot more. So today I'm going to teach you about some of the habits that have really transformed my jumping. I had these thoughts recently during my low day that I wanted to share with you. So that way you can start working on them now because simply put the energy is always moving either one direction or the other it's never standing still momentum is building in the right direction or the wrong direction and David Goggins said in his book can't hurt me you're either getting better or you're getting worse so I hope by the end of this video you have some actions you can start implementing today to start completely transforming your training and your entire life to get started a habit is everything everything you do is a response to something every action starts with a thought everything we do is a habit but even when we just eat, even the things we say, they're a response to something, right? So that means it's a habit. And Carl Jung actually said, until we make the unconscious conscious, it will direct our life and call it fate. I'm dropping a lot of quotes, but that's another great one because it's the things that you aren't aware of, they'll direct your life. So our goal is to make these habits work for us and not against us. And by the way, that low day, I'm gonna throw some dunks in here. It's about my fourth dunk session back from my hamstring injury, which I'm still dealing with, which is what this channel is about, my dunk journey, my dunk vlog. So those are still on the way, but this information is just too impactful. I really wanted to get it to you. Just a quick overview of the biggest life transforming habits are sleep, nutrition, and body awareness. And what I mean by that is sleep is the biggest one. It's probably the hardest one. I'm going to do a whole video on just sleep. Nutrition, if you're just fueling your body, recovering properly, that's huge. And then body awareness, meaning understanding your energy levels, understanding when it's time to push it and when it's time to recover because training is equal to recovery. So that way, every single workout, you're making progress because that burnout is what we want to avoid. And that burnout either is just fatigue where you have to rest for a long week or you don't know what you're doing or you carve the wrong pattern which is what I'm going to get into next, or it's that burnout where you hit an injury and that's really set you back a long time. So we want to avoid that. Okay. So the key habits for dunking, one of the first ones is technique. This is a great example of what a habit transforms into. So when you're trying to learn technique, for me, my left, right plant is poor technique. I'm working on that. So I work one step at a time. So using that as an example, carving those steps one step at a time, what I'm doing is implementing the use of a habit the same way it blossoms into a routine. So what I mean by that is I'm going to do one foot at a time, one rep at a time, and over time, as I carve that pattern, that technique down left, right, it becomes a habit and it becomes routine. So it becomes natural so I can run full speed on it, right? But if you don't have that habit carved deep and you didn't start tiny with one step at a time, then when you add speed and you try to build on it, that's when the shaky foundation happens. And that's what's happened to me. If you look at my journey, the reason why it's taken so long is that I didn't have the right foundation in place. And that's what I want you to avoid. So this next habit is a little bit of a mindset and I call it Every day is leg day because there's never a day you're just sitting. This is actually not great for me to sit right now and make this video because I'm sitting on my injured hamstring, which is tightening it up and just causing less blood flow and kind of restricting it, right? So even though you jump, even though you lift and get stronger and faster, on the off days, you got to get blood to those legs. Your legs can recover faster and you can get back to training. But that means every day's leg day because the way we walk, the way we move, our natural sedentary lifestyles aren't great for the way we're sitting on our legs and we need to get movement every day. That becomes a habit. That's something that you have to install in your life. Even just having the mindset that every day is leg day, maybe you jumped yesterday, you squatted yesterday, but today you're thinking, okay, 
okay, what am I gonna do this week? So that way you're planning it out. Say you're doing another squat day in a few days or another jump day in a few days. What could you do today to prep for it? So you're always thinking about your legs because it's dunk life and that's our goal is to jump higher, but you need to build that awareness so every single day you can do something. It doesn't mean you make progress, but it does mean you recover. It does mean you do something healthy for your legs to make sure they're ready to go on that big day. Another great reason every day's leg day is simply for the awareness. Being aware and thinking, okay, I hit this leg hard, why is it more sore than my left leg? And now you start to develop that body awareness, which is gonna allow you to really escalate and level up your training going forward so you can make that next level progress. Because if you don't have that awareness, when you go to lift, you're gonna have unbalances and you're gonna feel tightness and you're not gonna understand how to fix that. Another great habit to add to your jump days and dunk days is jumping off all plants. So whether it's left, right, right, left, left foot, one foot, two foot, all those different plants are gonna be fantastic to keep your legs balanced, keep your legs healthy, and also for you to be versatile. Because the whole point of this journey is to either be a game dunker or a pro dunker. I'm actually been asking that a lot on my Instagram story, so I would love to know your feedback. Do you wanna be a pro dunker, which is somebody who competes, just does the trick dunks, things like that works on the vertical, or a game dunker? I actually wanna be a game dunker. I don't care too much about the tricks. I love them, they do get me hype, but I've always wanted to dunk in games like my boy T-Dub. So a big takeaway for you today is start tiny. Start with the smallest thing, even if it's just a thought, right? But the point is you have to start building on it. Plant that seed and that seed will grow. And at first it takes a lot of maintenance, sunlight, care, but once it's grown, it becomes a fully developed tree. And that's your jumping. You work on every little detail down to your toes, down to just your recovery and just thinking about your body awareness because once you do that over time, you're gonna have a balanced body, jumping off all plants, solid, healthy body that you can jump to the frickin' moon. And that's the goal. Plus, all these habits, all these mindsets translate into everything you do in life, which is why I'm so passionate about creating this content. It's transformed my life, and I really hope it transforms yours. And the end goal is, as always, enjoy life on a higher frequency. Let's go.